More than 80% of the global production of foie gras comes from France. Each year, 17,000 tons of foie gras are sold in France, which amounts to the organs of 30 million birds every year. This is more than the number of pigs and cattle slaughtered for food. The ducklings start their lives in artificial hatcheries. They are the resulting offspring from breeding a common duck to a barbary duck. Their species, called mule duck, is sterile and does not exist naturally. As soon as they are born, the ducklings are separated into males and females. This allows the breeder to discard the females and keep the males only. The liver is said to be of superior quality. Le canard grain, euh, on ne gave que les canards. Que les mâles. Les, pas, pas les cannes. Non, mais parce que le, le foie de canne est beaucoup plus euh, veineux. Et que deviennent euh, les cannes alors les, les cannes, disons qu'elles les, 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 les sont éliminées euh, petites, si vous voulez, elles ne partent pas pour la production du, euh, du canard gavé. On les tue pas quand même, on en fait quoi alors là, euh, exactement, je pense qu'il en, on en tue une bonne partie. Ah bon The female ducks are thrown onto middle conveyor belts from where they fall into different boxes. French legislations allows for them to be ground up alive, slowly suffocated inside plastic bags. In the best of case, they will be gassed with carbon dioxide. Ducks are vivacious, graceful and lively animals who spend a lot of time playing and exploring in the water. They can dive 30 meters deep and fly as fast as 60 miles an hour. They often live up to 20 years old. Until they reach their adult size, the ducks are bred for three months in open spaces. That is when the pictures for the ads and commercials are taken. Then the birds are placed into cages in large sheds where they will be force-fed for 12 days along, with hundreds of others, and then killed. Ducks are water animals, though their feet get easily injured by the wiring of the cages. Those cages are so small that the birds can neither turn around nor stand up, let alone stretch their wings. Only their head sticks out so that the feeder can grab their neck. To produce foie gras, the birds are force-fed such unnatural quantities of food that the liver swells to several times its normal size and eventually develop a disease called hepatic steatosis. The procedure is accomplished by inserting a long metal pipe into the bird's throat down to its stomach several times a day. When the duck struggles to avoid the tube, when it is shaken by the urge to vomit, it might suffocate or get its throat perforated. The insertion of the tube causes lesions and inflammations of the neck that are chronic sources of painful infections. Overfed an unbalanced diet, 
the birds also suffer from a variety of digestive disorders that may result in death. Every year, one million animals die during the force feeding phase. Another indicator might be the reaction of the birds as a feeder approaches. As acknowledged by the European Commission scientific report, the birds' aversive behavior and attempts to escape their fate are easy to observe. On this farm, these birds at the beginning of the fattening process recoil from the feeder. This is only a temporary problem, as in a few days they will have gained so much weight anyway that they won't be able to turn around anymore. Pour être un bon producteur de foie gras, il faut d'abord être attentif au bien-être des animaux. Mais ça, c'est valable pour tous les éleveurs. Parce qu'un bon éleveur, s'il n'est pas attentif au bien-être de ses animaux, il obtiendra de mauvais résultats. Il faut être attentif au logement, à l'alimentation, au confort. Unconcerned by the smooth rhetoric favored by the official spokesmen of the foie gras industry, the technical manuals designed for the farmers take on a less dainty approach. The birds are kept in appalling health conditions. They are perched above excrement pits filled up with their diarrhea and the bars of their cages are soiled with their own vomit. Their condition increasingly deteriorates with liver functional impairments, circulatory, nervous and digestive disorders and various diseases, diarrhea, enteritis, hypoglycemic coma, vomiting. By the end of the force feeding period, the enlarged liver compresses the lungs, the bird's breathing has turned into panting, and they are intensely thirsty. This is the amount of corn each bird will be fed in a dozen days. Pumped in three seconds twice a day, these 22 pounds of food will be ingested in one minute altogether. Were they fed in this way for any longer, the birds would die. But they are slaughtered just in time to cover up the outcome of false feeding. Still, the weakest are moribund when they reach the slaughterhouse, and many of them don't even make it till then. According to the statistic of the industry itself, the mortality rate is 10 to 20 times higher during false feeding. Et il y en a qui meurent ici des fois, non Oui. Ah bon, ça arrive ça Non oui. mais c'est rare ça, non Oh non, ah, il y en a tous les, les jours. Rare. Tous les jours, il y en a. Il y en a tous les jours qui meurent Oui. Ah bon En été, c'est pas rare. Mais, mais ils, meurent, ils meurent de quoi C'est parce qu'ils sont malades Enfin, euh, fin, ils meurent euh, bah, parfois, parfois parce que non, le jabot il éclate. Oui. Parfois non, parfois oui. Parce que quoi Le jabot il éclate. Ah d'accord. Oh non, moi j'en ai. Je ne sais pas. Et où est-ce qu'ils vont quand ils sont morts alors On les met dans la caisse bleue et après ils vont dans une faire grosse caisse bleue à l'intérieur. Ah, ouais.
Mais la vérité, c'est que le, le, le canard, ça le rend malade, et c'est sûr. Il chie partout, euh, oui. Il meurt oui. à la fin. Il, me... vrai. il meurt à la fin. C'est vrai qu'on ne tuerait pas un canard, il mourrait parce que c'est une maladie. Ça, c'est vrai. C'est tout à fait exact. Mais euh, au, moment, au, moment, au moment où vous le tuez, il est quand même pas bien, pas, pas bien valide. Ah, c'est sûr, c'est tout à fait exact. Tout hein? tout à fait il y a du mal à se déplacer, quoi. Tout à fait vrai, absolument. Ouais. Among those who make it to the slaughterhouse, many have their bones broken during transport or handling for electrocution. By law, an animal has to be rendered unconscious before its throat is slit open. The birds then go through a process called electronarchosis. They are electrocuted, that the current intensity is set low enough to keep their hearts pumping, so that their blood is drained out faster. Because it is difficult to set the appropriate intensity, many birds are still fully conscious when the artery is cut open. Thank you. 